Welcome to an exciting weekly vlog. If you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know that my life normally consists of very home-based activities. Going to the supermarket, just pottering around, editing, baking at home. So this week it looked quite different, so I thought I would take you along for the ride. We begin the quite exciting weekly vlog by meeting my friend Fran, who I haven't seen in over two years because she lives in Oslo and long story short, we finally got reunited and decided to treat ourselves with a little trip. Right, I am ready. Little, very simple outfit of the day today. We have got the gold jewels that I wear all the time now. And then I've got this blue knitted jumper on from Uniqlo. And then these are weekday jeans. I'm not wearing the Crocs out, but these are fur lined baby blue Crocs in case anyone cared. And they are my new slippers that I love so dearly. We have already made good work of the room. Look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, look at this. And then they've even given us some cake. How fun. Can't wait to tuck into there. Um, and we've got robes, but last time I came, I came for that competition. There were slippers and there's no slippers. So I don't really know what's going on there, but it's so quiet and peaceful. We have just had our cakes. This is Fran. Hi. We're reunited. <laughs> As you all the OGs will know. And we're about to go <laughs> and have afternoon tea. Yahoo! I actually rewatched that vlog quite a lot. Do you remember the one where we went the first time? We're going to go and eat. We did already demolish the cakes that we had here. So it was just an appetizer ready for afternoon tea. <laughs> Right, we've had afternoon tea. Christmas lights? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> um, and now we're going to Lush because we've got a bath in the hotel room. So we're going to pick up a little bath thing for after the theatre. <laughs> yeah, I was, was going to suggest that. to see Mamma Mia! The wizard! <laughs> Here's the wizard! The wonderful wizard of I was going to say, I've never heard of a wizard in Mamma Mia before. <laughs> a bubble when you're wearing I'll just watch it like that. Hi! A <laughs> joke, <laughs> 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 Oh, hi! You alright? We are back and there is a great little view. You can see the London Eye right in the distance. And oh my gosh, let me tell you, Mamma Mia! What would you give it out of 10? Oh, I'd give it a 8. Low! No, I don't think that's low. It was incredible. There was one character that we didn't quite get on with. The rest, oh my gosh, Donna and the Dynamos. Donna! <sighs> what a queen. And then you all sing at the end. My problem was that throughout, I wanted to sing. Are you having that sound? We love her. She said I look like some Spanish actress and it was the biggest compliment. And we didn't get slippers and then we just inquired. We get a little bag. And she got us some slippers. Oh my gosh, I've been away. Wow. <laughs> They're like, please stop it. And we've got this little five guys. Hello. It's going to be cold and Fran's about to have a bath. She's had another bath in okay. years. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm getting my socks right off. I'm making a little bath bomb. Yeah. Oh, you went to Lush? Oh, Fran, it's a good time in here. Mm -hmm. This is the life for me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I love it. And I'm going to unpack the five guys. I've got my robe on. I've got the top knot. And I actually went for the veggie burger from Five Guys because it's really good. Oh, it's still warm. Yeah. And look how many chips they give you at Five Guys. Come and have a look. Absolutely loads. I am so happy right now. Cooked, ordered. Look at that. Mm. 
Oh my days, I ate that. I didn't even chew it. Didn't even touch it. Mm. I'm living my best life. I also now want to be in a musical. That always happens when I watch musicals. One time I watched Lord of the Dance and I then wanted to learn tap dance. I did look into it. I've also looked into opera lessons before. I've also looked into yodeling lessons, glass blowing. Mm. I love dim lighting. That is what I'm all about. We have just run the bath and it looks so frothy and foamy. This is a little hotel room pool, by the way. Bathroom. Hi, we asked for a bath. You have to ask for it. And you got the rest of the room. Chips and dips, and then this is the rest of the room. We've made a real mess of it, oh, but gosh, YOLO. Good morning, Bikini Bottom. It is, I did not sleep well. I woke up at seven, and I had to just be on my phone in silence, because Fran slept till 8.30. <laughs> and if it wasn't for the alarm, you would have slept longer, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, What a queen. <laughs> oh, I would to be Fran. Um, <laughs> but we are going down to the breakfast, and this breakfast buffet, let me tell you, it's a good time. There's a honeycomb wall. Not that I really like honeycomb, but it's the vibes at the end of the day. Look at that. Girl, she's really cool. She's got a little trend. She just looks like she's got her life together. Oh, she does. She really does. That little girl right there, woman. There, strutting her stuff. Okay, let's go for breakfast. Breakfast! <laughs> Fran's having to call them because we're too shy and yesterday we didn't ask for Wi Fi. So, last night, Fran spoke in her sleep. I've never heard anyone sleep talk in real life before. <laughs> and it was so clear. I thought she was actually talking to me. Because she said, I am having a good time. And then she went, mm. <laughs> Just, that makes me happy, because imagine she was... I hate Grace, and I'm not happy where I am right now. <laughs> Can you imagine? Let me leave. Yeah. How do I get out of this? <laughs> Unable to. They need a capital on every word. I did. Now I will take you through breakfast because you know me, I love a hotel breakfast buffet. This is the one that I had that competition at a few years back um, and they like paid for us to all to stay there and I've been dreaming of it ever since so it was so nice that we could treat ourselves and obviously we were reunited. This is the breakfast buffet and let me tell you they don't miss out on anything. They have mini hash browns. I mean, who wouldn't want a mini hash brown? So this is like the little fry up section. It's got everything. And also I love it because the bacon is crispy. I hate when bacon isn't crispy. Um, they have all these little bits that you just like help yourself to, the mushrooms, everything. And then when you turn the corner, you've got the more continental section. There's the meats, the cheeses, the olives, you know how it is. They've literally got everything. There's fruits, there's pastries. There's anything that you would think should be at a breakfast buffet. Oh, and let me tell you about the little olive breads. They have these little olive breads and they were warm, warm olive bread. So I made like a olive and bacon bread thing and it was so good. Yeah, Fran, that's it. She's done that before, hasn't she? Yeah, oh no. Girl knows her way about a wax honeycomb. We just enjoyed a splendid afternoon tea. And now... Afternoon tea? No, we didn't. Breakfast. <laughs> and now I'm gonna have a morning bath. I'm using this, the Rose Jam Bubble Room, and it's getting nice and bubbly. Yesterday we bought these, which I've actually never seen before in Lush. The woman was so, so helpful. And I'm keeping them in the fridge right now. They're these. <gasps> and they're little cucumber iPads. This is what they look like. They smell like cucumber and simply place over your eyes and sit back and relax. Store in the fridge until next use. And it says for extra chill, pop in the um, freezer. So I'm very excited. I'm going to do that and I need to wash my hair really badly. It's actually very greasy. Don't look at it. Don't. I think we're done. I think we have to say goodbye. I just had the best bath ever. It was, isn't it good, that bath? It's wonderful. It's so good. You just, it's so deep. So deep. And um, we were going to get a late checkout, but it cost £10 an hour. Because we went to go shopping, but I guess not. I guess it's not meant to be. We're not quite those ladies of leisure yet. No.
So as I said in the vlog, my life has been a bit uneventful the past few days. When I tell you, I literally wake up, have breakfast, edit, have lunch, edit, go for a walk, have dinner, edit, sleep, eat, sleep, edit, repeat. Um, so it's been very, it would not be fun for you to vlog, but I just want to say it because otherwise it just literally looks like I'm jet setting, which I kind of am, so I'm not going to lie. Um, but there has been a lot of boring days in between, um, but it literally looks like I've just gone party, party, party. Um, but today I'm so excited because I've been wanting to go to this exhibition for the longest time. It's the Yayoi uh, Kusama, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, light exhibition. And this originally was supposed to open last year with the lockdown, but then it got postponed and I tried to get tickets for that one, couldn't get tickets. And then it got postponed to this year, couldn't get tickets. And then on it surprised me with tickets. <laughs> I'm so flipping excited. I know it's gonna be incredible and there's like a dinner before and I'm just really, really happy. But it's in the evening. So again, I'm currently just sat here editing. Yay. Um, the editing life is for me. Um, so you can come with me to that. And I'm also meeting Fran beforehand. She's a bit of shopping because we didn't, we didn't get to do that yesterday. So I feel like I just wanna really take every minute I can before she goes back to Oslo and then I can't see her for a hot minute. Although I wanna go to Oslo and visit her because we can now. Right, I'm at the station and I'm, there's nothing that annoys me more, but well, there are actually a few things. People who don't put trolleys away, that one really gets under my skin. But this car next to me that has parked right on the line. So it means it's so hard. I've squidged right in, but now it looks like I'm a bad parker. What's that noise? Um, yeah, it's just really annoying me. Look at this. I'm going to London now for a fun little afternoon and evening. Really just living my life. I'm out here living my life. Oh, I need to pay for parking. Oh. So I went and browsed the shops with Fran and I got my last cool lime refresher of the year. They stopped doing these near me, but they had them in London and it was so exactly what I wanted. Went into this really nice chocolate shop. It was so expensive, so I didn't buy anything. And we browsed all the Christmas stuff. I can't stop, I can't stop. Also, these socks just really cracked me up. Anyway, then we went to the exhibition and had such a great time. <laughs> Like a naughty sister. <laughs> My shoes are squeaking. <gasps> what is that? Bottom. Today is the brand spanking new day, and we are here to have a good time. Um, so yesterday we had that meal at the Tate, which was so good, and um, the exhibition. I mean, actually, I don't know how I felt about the exhibition. I feel like it was very small, a lot smaller than I anticipated. But to be honest, anyone who's got tickets, they've already got tickets, so they're going to be going anyway aren't they <laughs> so I can't like really review it because it's not going to encourage you to go or not encourage you to go is it because it's sold out um but anyway this morning I am going to meet a friend at Dishoom which I have heard really good things about Dishoom is I've been to for dinner but I've never been for a breakfast before and apparently they do really good breakfast naan breads um, so I'm going to go and see what that's all about and I think we want to go to Liberty and visit the Christmas shop which is a bit of me and then this afternoon we're also going out so really it's just honestly I can't get over life I will be excited, don't get me wrong I love going out, I do and I love seeing my friends and my family like my friends and my family are so important to me and seeing them makes me so happy but I do enjoy some time alone at home. There's something to be said for like pottering around at home, getting all your chores done. And I, I love the balance. It's about the balance. You can't always be at home, but then likewise, you can't always be out and about. Do you know what I mean? 
Um, so anywho, just getting ready now, but the trains being a right mare this morning. They've cancelled all trains um, into London, anywhere between one station in London, Victoria or something. I don't like wearing mascara because my eyelashes, my like bottom ones are the same length as my top. So it just makes them look really weird when I wear mascara. But then when I curl my eyelashes, because they're very straight, they're a bit like guinea pig eyelashes. No, horses, I don't know what the word is. They're all like, they're not very good, whatever. So then when I curl them, they don't stay. Um, but I'm also too scared to get a lash lift because, hang on, I don't want to get a lash lift and then it pulls all my eyelashes out. Because I've heard that that's a thing that can happen. And quite frankly, I don't want to lose all my eyelashes. Um, so when I get back today, I think I need to, need to really sort myself out. I've got all the things that I've been putting off doing, so we really need to do those. Sort out, quite evening in, hey? Just me and you. I love autumn winter evenings inside on a Saturday because the TV, is, there's such good TV on. Oh, and I need to catch up on Gogglebox. We go for Tiffany & Co Love. What do we go for Viva La Juicy? Two very different scents. What's it gonna be? Viva La Juicy. No, it's not. It's gonna be Tiffany & Co. I only blimmin' forgot to film my Dishoon Bacon Naan when it was the most incredible thing ever. Honestly, 10 out of 10 would recommend. And then we went Christmas browsing. Look at how cute this stuff is. I love it so much. And then we went for our Korean barbecue. And then for dessert, we went and went to Bubble Waffle. Jesse's just eating his little miso soup there. He's lapping it up. Hello, little buttercups. So I'm back from all my excursions in London. And now it's time to unwind. I think I need a few days in the house. Definitely need to rebalance equilibrium because I've been out far too much. And now I just need some, I just need some downtime. I'm very excited for an evening in, if I'm honest with you. So I'm gonna do some, put some clothes away, have a bath, relax and take it easy. Take it easy because um, it's been hectic. But, oh my gosh, the bacon naan from Dishoom, I cannot recommend enough. Everyone needs to try it, it's so fantastic, it's absolutely delicious. And um, I also, we went to the Korean barbecue that we normally go to, but the service was atrocious. It was really like, was not a good time. So that was a bit sad. I think we'll try a different one next time. Um, so I'm not gonna say what one it was because I don't feel happy recommending it. <laughs> um, and then we got Bubble Ruffle, which I am happy to recommend. Although my sister and her husband did not like it. Just goes to show, not everyone likes everything, do you know what I mean? And you, it's always gonna be a, every, every taste bud is different. So anyway, I'm gonna tidy my room up, have a little bath. Yes! So today in London, I went to the wonderful, beautiful Liberty and Fortnum and Mason. Had a look at all of their Christmas stuff. Oh, I did buy something. I'll show you that. The little purchase I made, Countess Grey. It's my mum's favourite. If you like Earl Grey, Lady Grey, you'll like this. Yeah, I got that for mum. That's her favourite tea ever. Um, but it just got me so excited for Christmas. I just can't wait. Give me some Christmas vids now that you want to see. At Christmas time, at Christmas time, we're learning life. I just can't wait. Also, have to say, big, big news on my pajama front. You know, I love pajamas, and I'm very passionate about what what type of pajamas I wear. Well, I get really hot at night these days. So hot. Don't know what. Must be doing the menopause or something. Um, but cannot recommend enough wearing boys' boxes. I bought a pair, love them. Oh my gosh, I feel so free in them. Boys, you have it lucky, let me tell you that for free. I just I just ram around in these little boxes and a t-shirt and they're so much better than any pajama shorts I've ever worn. Look at my little angel sleeping so delicately. I, I got mine from Uniqlo and I won't ever be wearing anything else ever again. In fact, I'm gonna start wearing them out, okay? Right. It is bedtime for little old crack, and I'm gonna see you in the morning because I got a very chilled day tomorrow. Very happy. So life's all about balance. Good morning, cherubs. Wow, she's croaky. She is croaky this morning. Yeah. Um. Wow, it's a new day. So good morning. It's Sunday morning now, and 
I know no one likes it when people tell their dreams. There's just this thing where it's like, oh, cool. Actually, I actually quite like hearing people's dreams. I had a really realistic dream and I've woken up and I'm sad it's not real. So you know the programme, Hunted? Incredible programme. Um, I had a dream that I went on a walk near where we are and I found Martin Clunes. And then I was like, you're doing Hunted, aren't you? Because he was just sat on the side of the road. He was like, yeah. I was like, come with me, sweetheart. Come into my house and I'll take you somewhere. So he comes in and then the hunted crew turn up and we're just really good at hiding him. Anyway, never got to the bottom if he got found or not. It's a bit sad, but now I want it to really happen. That's my dream to like find someone from hunted when I'm just like, out and about. Anyway, I need to get ready for the day because we've got church in a minute and I'm going to go and I think I'm going to have just something for breakfast. I actually might put those cucumber things that I got from Lush because I took them home on my eyes because I'm feeling a bit puffy I didn't sleep the best probably because my mind was awake from that Martin Clune dream I always wonder like why did I dream that what was it that made me dream that I really need to find a good pair of black jeans so if anyone can help me I used to wear the Topshop mum jeans but since they're being stocked at ASOS now they're not the same like the, I just know they're not the same they're not the same shape same fit same texture, any of that. Um, so it's a bit annoying. I don't know what's, why the printer's taking so long. What's going on here, sweetheart? Anyway, so if anyone has any good jean recommendations, I like a high-waisted fit. Um, not as baggy as this. These aren't my favourite jeans ever. Not very flattering, but um, they'll have to do. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you just have to make do. I just heated up a wee little croissant in the oven. Oh, it's very warm, very hot. I'm gonna put, I'm actually gonna go for some butter and jam in here. Is that, is that rogue? Beautiful. <laughs> Look at little Banksy. I think she wants to come in. Banksy, you wanna come inside? I've seen a cat more excited. Go on then. At least show me some love. I wasn't entirely truthful yesterday when I said that I was gonna tidy my room. I didn't tidy it because I just had a bath and then watched Gogglebox. So I'm gonna do that now before we go to church. Try and make the most of my morning time. Look at this, there's just clothes everywhere. I've packed all the clothes away. So I went to church and then I had to pop to Tesco's to get a few bits and there was a queue again. Haven't had that for a while. It was a bit of a flashback. And look what my friend got me at church. It's so cute. This is mini biscuits. Isn't that fun? Um, she, she was on a work trip in Amsterdam and they're like, Little mini biscuits in there, and they're really yummy. I've already eaten some, yes I have, as I should. Um, and now I'm gonna go for a walk uh, and keep you posted on what I go up to. Just a chill day today, I'm very happy. Hi, buttercups. So I went for my walk. Sorry, I just keep forgetting to vlog when I'm out and about. So you're getting some snippets, but if you want me to do proper weekly vlogs, I'll make more of an effort to actually vlog vlog when I'm out and about. How does that sound? How does that sound? Um, but it's currently now the evening and I'm sitting and watching Million Dollar. Mum's having a bath. You can probably hear the bath. Can you hear it? Are you shut up? Bath? Are you so loud? Um, I'm watching Million Dollar Cruises. Love it. I love a good show where you get an insight into something. Like the Savoy show. Ugh, I love that. One of my friends actually used to work at the Savoy. Um, and like where you go behind the scenes of a hotel. Because I just love to go to those hotels. I just love it. When you love, like, I just think it's mad. One person at Savoy lived there for half of the year or something like that. Oh, I just couldn't believe. They even had their own embroidered cushions at the hotel. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and I've got all my snacks that I have really worked through. I highly recommend this chocolate, it's vegan. Um, it's oat milk and it's a salted pretzel one. So if you like salty and sweet, this one is really good. I got gifted it, but I've bought some more since then because I really like it. Um, you are right. what have you got there? Empty cobble. What did you buy? Nothing, it's been dad's present. Some stickers for card on there. It's dad's birthday soon, guys. Woo, big summer vlog. Um, so yeah, just chilling on my Sunday evening. I love my Sunday evenings in so much. They're such special things to me. I just love chilling, watching TV and relaxing. Here we go, it's getting exciting. 
It's making me want to go on holiday watching this. No, it is. Should I go on holiday? Should I? Just me and you guys on a little holiday together. Stop. That's the next step. It's the next step in our relationship. Me and you watching this. What are you doing right now whilst you're watching this? I normally watch videos whilst I'm like pottering around. So are you pottering around? Or are you on the bus? On the train? You could be anywhere. Right. Billion dollar cruise ships have finished. Guess what I'm going to watch now? Absolutely not you. Friends, you guessed it. I'm a creature of habit, okay? Mm. What's that? <laughs> I'm about to have my bath, I am. And these were the little, um, oh, I've already shown you them in this vlog, isn't that sweet? I'm gonna put these in my eyes because honestly they de-puff so well. Lush cucumber things. Um, also a friend at church, wow, I was really spoiled today, huh? I also got the, given this chocolate, rich and creamy dark milk chocolate because they saw it had a little slough on it. <laughs> isn't that sweet when people think of you? Although funny enough, gifts isn't my love language, quality time is. Good morning. So it's the next day. And this is the problem here. Obviously, the last week I've had has been very exciting. and It's been jam-packed with things. However, the next week, that's not the case. And I have, I literally just be pottering around at home. Now there's nothing wrong with pottering around at home. Very happy doing that. But I feel like it doesn't exactly make the most thrilling vlog. But if you guys do want to see a pottering around at home weekly vlog, then let me know. Um, but this is my concerns for Vlogmas because my life isn't that exciting. It's really not. So I have no things to film. I mean, if you did like, if you do want to see more chill vlogs, head on over to Extra Grack, which is a channel where I put like all the chill vlogs. But I just feel like, I don't know. It's just like, I just do the same thing. <laughs> I just eat, sleep, edit, repeat. And that's what's going to happen today and tomorrow and the next day. So... I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It's been a little bit different. We've done some fun things. And I love you all loads. And I hope you have a great week. Because today's Monday. And sometimes Mondays aren't good. But hey, tomorrow's Tuesday. And it can be a better day. I love you all. So, stinking much.